Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Wake up. Come on. Can't crash out now. Get ready to put my last layer on. You gotta stay up with me. Keep me company. Man, I don't know what's up with these YouTube. When I when I load them movies with direct, you know, YouTube, it only takes, you know, 10 minutes. Don't take no time. But every now and then, it won't let me go in there and edit the names. That's why, like today, I haven't been able to go in there and edit the name. Why, I don't know. Sometimes it'll last for a day. Sometimes it'll go two or three days. So if it gets confusing, I'm sorry. But YouTube, it's all YouTube, baby. They're going through some changes. A lot of people don't like that new YouTube. and I haven't been on it, really, and looking at nothing in a few days. So, except Butch's videos and... You know, no one likes change. I don't know why they go in there and change that all up like that. It's supposed to be better. You know? I don't know. I ain't the one that called the shot, so... <laughs> I just gotta keep on plugging away on this bomber, you know? Let them do their thing. As long as they let me post my movies, we're all happy, right? Could be worse. They could be saying, no, we don't want no bomber building action. You know, wouldn't that be a drag? <laughs> okay, this is my heavy stuff. Last layer, and it's going to be nappy time. I'm going to load all these movies, and I'm going to bed, and we're going to be flying some jets tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'll take my camera. You know, old B1 Bob ain't going to miss out on that kind of action for you guys. I show it all. I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I made that decision a long time ago. Remember, people? I show you guys everything. We don't have no secrets in the shop. No secrets. No drama. Let's leave that drama for Oprah. Jerry Springer. We don't need no drama. No drama queens. Oh, someone was asking about my back. Yeah, it's better. I just, every now and then I do something and bam. When it hits me, my knees just like buckle, and I'm down for the count. Doctors actually say it's spasms. You know, and they keep trying to give me these pills, and well, these will take care of the spasms, yeah, but I'll be laying in bed with my tongue hanging out. <laughs> In a dang coma. I just don't like that. Let's just call that a personal preference. I'd rather live with a little pain than live in a coma. You know, that's no life either. So I just live with it.
But you know what gets me worse? It's like standing in line. <laughs> like at the grocery store. If I go to the grocery store to get like a thing of coffee, I, I have to take a shopping cart. If I got a shopping cart to lean on, I'm alright. But if I'm just like standing in line, oh, that just kills my back. You know, I can walk. Alright, and just standing in line just kills me. Ain't that funny? I'll keep y'all posted on Sandy tomorrow. I sure hope she's alright, but she's a tough old girl. And that's Dad's world right there. And I wish them the best of luck, I really do, but it's glad they caught it in time. You know, that's the main thing with all that stuff. And some people are so dang stubborn they won't go to the doctor. You know? That's what killed my grandfather. He was full blooded German. And that man died of high blood pressure. He just wouldn't go to the doctor. All of them doctors didn't know what they were talking about, he said. Come find out they did. <laughs> He was a tough old German, though. His name was Ferdinand Winholtz. Kept his Falstaff beer on the back porch and slits. He drank that slits. Kept it on the back porch. Summertime, wintertime, <laughs> didn't matter. Only time he'd drink is on Friday night. Because he worked, you know. He's a hard working man. Wouldn't drink during the week. But Friday night. See, he wouldn't drink Saturday night either because he didn't want to have a hangover on Sunday. Oh, dog on it. Well, people, that's my last movie for the night. Oh, we still got almost two minutes. <laughs> anyway, my grandpa on Friday nights, he'd get hammered, man. Just hammered. And sit there and sing God Bless America in German. <laughs> you know, as a kid going over there. And my grandmother was full-blooded German, too. Her name was Albertine. And we called her Bert. My mother was daddy's little girl, man. Grandpa called her Patsy. That was that was her that was his little girl right there. He sure loved her. Ah. We all miss her. She died of leukemia a little while back, twenty years ago, twenty-five. Okay, people, this is over. We'll catch you tomorrow at the flying field. St. Bob time, St. Bob station. We'll be broadcasted in PhiloVision live on YouTube from Lake Afton Park for some jet flying action. So stay tuned.